Hi, Richard. Uh, welcome to part four. This, this this won't be this long, too long. So I'm gonna do a review of the. I'm gonna show you what the Wii. Is. I'm gonna tell you about the Wii. I'm just gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna show you the menus. Might as well. First of all, the Wii is made by Nintendo, like these two systems are. I'm a Nintendo fanboy, if you guys want to call it. But not exactly, because I have Sony products. I have a Sony product and a Microsoft product up there. And a Sony PSP. Uh, up in that shelf over there with games too. That I've reviewed recently. First of all, the controls of this Wii is very unique. Like all Nintendos. This is unique to the video game console world. At least it was back then when this came out. No other video game console other than the PlayStation Move and the Xbox Connect which has no controller and neither does it need one. It uses your body as a controller which doesn't make sense to me. But people people I know uh, like the PlayStation, like the Xbox Connect 360. They like it but it's better graphics and uh, high definition. The system is not high definition. Nintendo chose not to do that, and these two things are not either. This is the Wii controller. The Wii controller features is I have a little rubber skin on top that came with this system when I bought it two years ago, or a year ago. This is a Wii. Right now I got loaded the Energizer. The Energizer recharge with battery pack in it. This battery is really good and battery life. I haven't ran down on it yet. It's really good battery. It charges by this is like this is the pad. It set you set it down and you can charge it. You don't have to plug it in like you do with these systems here. Or put it in a little dock or anything. You just set it on the pad in the little designated area and it charges. And it's over here my energizer. This is a uh, Nintendo Wii controller, Wii remote they call it. You can see it features two buttons, one and two. The little indicator lights that indicate what player you are. You can hook up to four up to this system. It has a little speaker that emanates a little tones and sounds. Plus and minus and the home button and the A button. And the B button's right here, the trigger. The power button right here to turn the system on over there. And turn this off. And the control pad. You can see it flashes. Dude, hello, blue lights. Woo woo. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> Not the police. Blue light special. Okay. Not the blue light special, stupid thing. Those of you old enough or young enough to remember the blue light special at Kmart. They don't have it anymore, of course, but they used to. This is a Wii Remote. It has a nunchucks and accessory. Might as well get up and show you this. This nunchuck. They call it the nunchuck and that goes because it hooks up with a wire to the bottom of the Wii Remote. This features an analog stick with intentions in each direction which is a Z and a C button nothing else, that's it very basic the accessory I have with it is called a classic controller the classic controller hooks up with the same wire to the bottom of the Wii remote it's wireless that's the transmitter and receiver right down there and this is the receiver it receives by bluetooth I've neglected to show you that. This has two analog sticks. Does not press down like the Xbox. And it has a digital thing and a select home start and A and B buttons. You notice the A and B buttons are clear and the X and Y buttons are not clear. It has four bumper buttons left and right Z and R and D and 1. Kind of looks like a PlayStation. Kind of looks like a PlayStation 2 controller. You're almost, not quite, but almost. This does not rumble, but this does. I forgot to tell you that this has a rumble motor. It has a 
microphone, it has not a microphone, a, a speaker, and it has Bluetooth connectivity to the Wii. It has a Celeronimo, which goes up, sideways, and down, all four directions of Celeronimo, and two black and white infrared cameras that actually communicate with the Wii bar, the, the sensor bar on the top of your television, or on the bottom, of it, if you want to put it. It's not wireless, it communicates with a little wire. This is the Wii. The Wii has internal memory. I don't know how many gigabytes it has. It has an SD card slot that you use that you can put special Wii uh, memory card memory in it. Or you can buy one. You don't have to buy a special Wii one. I bought the special Wii one because it was on sale. I didn't know. Oh, I, I just didn't know at the time you could have buy you could have bought a regular one. But that's okay, it was cheaper actually to buy the Wii one than it was to buy an ordinary one. You can download games to it or photos to the SD card. And uh, the disc goes in the slot. Reset and power and eject. On the top you have your four Nintendo GameCube controller ports. And on this door you have your two memory card slots for your GameCube. And on the back of the system you have two USB ports and you have your connection for your sensor bar and your power supply and your Nintendo's Wii uh, power connect, uh, AV connector does not have the Nintendo 64 connector like I thought it did so you can't reuse those wires unfortunately but you can use the GameCube controller with the system because you can play GameCube games you have to have a memory card I got memory cards stored in that vessel. You cannot play these. These won't fit. Or this one. But you can't play everything else. Except for the Game Boy player. You can't play that in there. The games are... You have, I have three Wii games. I actually have four. Metroid Prime Corruption and Metroid Prime The Other M and Super Mario Galaxy. Metroid The Other M is the newest one that I have. Metroid Prime 3 is the old one, one of the original ones that launched with the system, and Super Mario Galaxy is one of the ones that, also one of the ones that launched with the system. It didn't come with the system, you had to buy it separate, but it's the one that they advertised with the system. It was one of why I wanted one. It's a really interesting little system. I don't know what else to tell you. This is the GameCube right here. Which I should show you some other time. I don't know if I will. This is Nintendo 64 controller you see. And I will tell you about it. In part. And another part. And another part. In part 2 of the game console.